that you want to cut this shape up. Well, I already know what you're thinking. You're already thinking eraser tool or maybe the scissors or the knife tool, right? Don't do it. I want you to go and grab the pen tool. Yes, I did say the pen tool or any other vector drawing tool for that matter. Okay, with the pen tool, I'm just going to put in a nice jagged line like so. And I'll just press Command or Control and then just click to finish that line off. Okay, now guys, I'm going to select both the path that I just drew and the shape just here, because I want to show you this is a common thing that people will do. They'll go up to Object, Path, and Divide Objects Below. This is the command that we're exploring today. Now, when we choose that, having selected both items, this is the error message that we get. Basic Illustrator saying, hey, you should be just selecting one item here. So I'll choose OK, and then selecting just that path that I just drew. Object, Path, Divide Objects Below. Now, as soon as I do that, the path that I had drawn disappears, but check it out. What I'm left with is the two halves dictated by that path that I just drew. Very cool. Okay, I've got a, another couple of examples just here which I want to show you. These two paths which cross the, uh, the rectangles are identical. This one's just got a big solid stroke on it. And this one also has a fill in combination with a thinner stroke. Now, if I select this path and go up to Object, Path, Divide Objects Below, and actually I'll just do the same on this guy just here, Object, Path, Divide Objects Below. Now, if I select both of the right pieces just here and drag them away, you can see the result is identical. So I just wanted you to see there, guys, the path that you draw, it's stroke, we don't care. It's fill, we don't care. Illustrator is just using the path to divide any objects below. Now notice we've only been dividing single objects below. Well, this example that I have just here, I'd like to show you how we can with one path divide multiple objects. So if I go and grab my uh, pen tool, and I might just reset my stroke to black and a fill of none. Again, guys, that doesn't matter. This is just for demonstration purposes only. So I'll just draw myself a little path just here. Select that path, object, path, divide objects below, and check it out. We've got that nice split going on just in there. Okay, another odd example to show you just here. So I've got this face just here. Again, grabbing my pen tool, and let's draw a line. Rather brutal, I know, guys, but cuts through the eye just here, like so. So let's see what result we get just here. So if I select that line, Object, Path, Divide Objects Below. Okay, so if I grab the orange part of the face just here, sure enough that was divided. Now if I hover over the eye just here, we've got this line just here, so you would think it's uh, been divided, but if I grab this it moves as one piece. What's going on? Well with it selected, you'll notice the option up here highlighted for Group. So those eye elements were a group. Now the cut was indeed made, but if I was to right mouse click and choose Ungroup, and select those pieces just now, you can see now we actually get what we were expecting. So guys, uh, this uh, option we've been exploring, it will cut objects within groups. You may just have to ungroup them if you're trying to pull things apart. Now for those of you with a keen eye, you might've noticed, I drew that path which became our dividing path through this eyebrow or hair, whatever this thing is, I don't know. I drew this face, so I should really know. But you'll notice that it didn't actually cut this thing. Why not? Well, let's explore that in this second example just here. This is the uh, same identical face I drew a moment ago. And again, grabbing my pen tool, let's just draw a similar line through there like so. Okay, now let's go up to the view menu and jump into outline mode. That's what's going on just here. So that eyebrow thingy guys, that is still a path. It just happens to have a variable stroke applied to it. So that is the reason we weren't getting a cut because if I just come back into our preview mode, what we thought was basically an outlined object is actually still a live path. So the trick here is to simply select this guy, go up to object, expand appearance. Now, if I go into view outline, you can see it now looks like a regular piece of vector art, similar to the other pieces that I have just down here. So if I come back into the preview mode just here, I select that path, object, path, 
and then divide objects below. Now you can see we've split that eyebrow thingy just up there. So object path, divide objects below. I hope that helps you with your Illustrator drawing. Catch you later, guys.